Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of The Bible Explained. Today I want to talk with you about something of a cliché in the Bible and that is the phrase, image of God. The phrase image of God has become cliché and it almost loses its power. Like what does it mean to be made in the image of God? Genesis chapter 1 tells us this in the creation story. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God he created them. Male and female he created them. So why does this matter? In the ancient world it was thought that the only people created in the image of God were kings, rulers, pharaohs, and so they were the ones that held this kind of sanctity and power uh, and authority of being in the image of God. But what the ancient writers of the Bible did was hijack that whole concept and say everyone is created in the image of God. If you want to see God in the world, just look to your fellow human beings. Now why does this change things? Because the powerful, the elite, are made in the image of God, but so are those on the margins. You see, this is what we tend to do as humans. We tend to divide the world into us and them, which is often us against them, rich against poor, Republicans against Democrat, nations against nations. But here's the thing that the ancient writers of the Bible did. They said you, you can't live in those distinctions anymore. Why? Because there's something that unites all of us, that we all share, and you can't grasp at, you can't take from someone else, and that is the image of God, the sanctity that exists within everyone, us and them, including even those we call our enemies. One of my favorite theologians was a man of the 20th century named Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel. Here's what Heschel had to say about this idea of the sanctity of being human. What do I see when I see a man? I see him first as one other specimen of the human species, then as a specific particular individual who can be named or identified. But then he stands before me as the only entity in nature with which sanctity is associated. All other sacred objects in space are made holy by man. Human life is the only type of being we consider intrinsically sacred, the only type of being we regard as supremely valuable. The particular individual may not be dear to me. In fact, I may even dislike him, but he is dear to someone else, to his mother, for example, although that too is not the reason for his eminence. For even if nobody cares for him, he is still a human being. Now, of course, the people of the Bible did not always live into this principle. In fact, there's harsh violence throughout the Bible. But here's the thing. We moderns still divide the world into us against them. We tend to look down upon the people who wrote the Bible, but we're still falling into the same traps. But here, right in the beginning of the Bible, is a passage that calls us back to remembering that all people, but especially those on the margins of society, are created in the image of God and deserve to be treated with sanctity and respect and love. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this episode of The Bible Explained, feel free to like it and share it with your friends. And uh, if you didn't like it, it's totally cool. You're still in the made in the image of God. You still have invaluable worth to you. But you might have a little more if you like it and share it. Thanks. See you next time.